Efficient snow and ice control is essential for economic and social life. But keeping roads free of snow and ice can be difficult. In northern states, snow and ice control accounts for a large chunk of maintenance budgets. At the same time, we're all aware of the damage to the environment, including vehicles and road infrastructure caused by the heavy use of chemicals for de-icing. One of the Strategic Highway Research Program's goals has been to address these concerns. Sharps Highway Operations Research looked into finding better ways of removing snow and ice from pavement and keeping it off. In this program, we'll look at the results of snow and ice control research. As we review the results of Sharps research, there are several products worth special mention. They'll save money and lives and help reduce damage to the environment. We'll focus on snow fences, snow plows, de-icing chemical tests, anti-icing procedures, and road weather information systems. Modern engineered snow fences can save your agency time and money, and they may save lives. In many locations, blowing snow blinds drivers, causes accidents, and calls for more plowing. A new sharp manual shows how snow fence technology has come a long way since the time of four-foot picket fences. Modern fences are generally taller and designed to be much more effective. Wyoming installed snow fences along a 45-mile stretch of Interstate 80 and reduced accidents in that area by 70 percent. They cut snow and ice removal costs by more than 33 percent. Their fences are engineered for optimal efficiency through precise design and placement. Correct engineering to determine the proper height and location is critical. An improperly placed fence can actually cause more problems than it solves. Sharp researchers completed a thorough study of snow fence technology. The results are in a detailed manual designing for blowing snow control and a briefer field version called Snow Fence Guide. Both tell how to design and locate snow fences correctly and they include new information proving snow fence cost effectiveness. The manual provides hard information on cost savings in snow removal. For instance, it costs three cents per ton to store snow away from the road with a fence versus three dollars per ton to move it off the road with plows and blowers. The manual also discusses new long-lasting materials already in use for fence construction along with how to construct natural or living snow fences. And it gives advice on the fundamentals of highway design and location to minimize the need for snow fences along new highways. These manuals are invaluable tools for agencies looking for a simple solution to a very expensive problem. Snow fences alone won't always keep your roads clear. Snow you can't collect and store with a fence has to be plowed. Sharp researchers have come up with an improved plow, one that features energy efficiency and safety. It requires less energy than most conventional plows and reduces hazardous snow clouds which can blind the plow driver and motorists. Sharp researchers examined the plow's various parts. They looked at the cutting edge, investigated the mold board, and tried a new snow scoop. Starting in the laboratory, they set out to develop a cutting edge that would cut ice more effectively with less force required. They tested varying clearance angles, rake angles, attack angles, and more. A series of lab and field tests proved that carefully adjusting various parameters could result in improved efficiency, reduced fuel consumption, and greater safety through improved control of the vehicle. A full report with recommended specifications is now available. Meanwhile, other sharp researchers were studying the geometry of the mold board. They investigated how surface friction, height, and shape of the mold board influence the way it casts snow. An improved design increases the board's height and gives it a cylindrical shape at the top. It uses an ultra-high molecular weight polyethylene surface on the mold board. This new plow is easily reversible as well as simple to manufacture and operate. Researchers also tested a snow scoop placed in front of the plow blade. The scoop virtually eliminates compression of snow just ahead of the blade 
and eases the flow of snow up the mold board. The scoop and the redesigned mold board together will mean greater efficiency and improved safety. The new design also reduces the snow cloud as you plow at higher speeds. That means greater visibility for the driver and motorists behind. And because there is less side thrust, the driver will have better steering control. You'll also need less force to move snow. In fact, there's a 20% improvement in efficiency over conventional plows. Another big advantage of the scoop is that it's inexpensive and you can retrofit it easily to most of your existing plows. It won't be long before these breakthroughs are all combined into one vastly improved snowplow. In the meantime, the snow scoop is commercially available. With a new sharp handbook, you'll now be able to make better informed decisions on which de-icers are best for melting ice and snowpack from your roads. The handbook describes a set of 12 simple and inexpensive tests. Until now, there have been no universally accepted methods for evaluating de-icer characteristics, good and bad. So sharp researchers set out to establish them. They developed tests that highway agencies as well as manufacturers can use. They're detailed in a handbook and include tests such as ice melting capacity, corrosive effects on metal, and scaling effects on concrete. These new sharp tests provide the means for objectively evaluating de-icers and verifying claims of vendors. Using these tests may shorten the time of acceptance of new products. Suppliers can also use the same test to characterize and compare their products. De-icing is helpful and essential, but it would be even better to prevent ice from forming in the first place. And it might prevent scenes like these. As well as save money in materials and crew time. Anti-icing means applying a chemical before the start of an ice or snowstorm, or at a very early stage before a bond develops between the snow or ice and the road. Sharp researchers tested various anti-icing techniques, equipment, and materials. They collected data for many geographic areas, including mountains, plains, and lake areas. Now they have produced a guide to help you set up an anti-icing program. It covers what to spread, how much to spread, when to do it, and what equipment to use. Anti-icing can let you dramatically cut chemical use. You can save up to 90% of the chemicals required to melt ice if you apply them before the ice forms. It's better for the environment and less expensive. Better weather prediction and monitoring will put your crews precisely where you need them. It will save time and money. Sharp researchers investigated what's called a Road Weather Information System, or RWIS. An RWIS provides a dramatically improved ability to predict specific pavement and local weather conditions. And you can monitor conditions in real time as they change. Sharp researchers have prepared a two-volume report describing these developments. They show that with a road weather information system, snow and ice maintenance managers can improve their allocation of labor, equipment, and materials. The result, rapid, cost-effective, and preemptive responses to adverse weather and improved conditions for drivers. There are eight key components to an RWIS. They include weather and pavement sensors, professional weather forecasting, weather information such as radar and satellite images, communications and data processing capabilities, temperature profiles of roadways, and an aggressive plan for how the agency will counteract predicted adverse weather. With a road weather information system, you will have improved site-specific forecasts for weather conditions throughout your region. In addition, with real-time data, you'll be able to identify and treat trouble spots immediately, which will improve travel conditions for users. You'll reduce fuel consumption and overtime labor costs by avoiding unnecessary crew callouts. You'll avoid applying a lot of chemicals by using predictive information and anti-icing treatments. RWIS reduces treatment decision errors by up to 90% and improves the level of service provided to the public. Soon there will be even more help on a local level with weather prediction. 
Sharp has helped develop what's called an expert weather prediction system. It's now commercially available. The program is user-friendly and can run on a personal computer. Using information from RWIS sensors, the National Weather Service, and other field sources, it provides an easily interpreted display of local weather conditions up to 24 hours ahead of a storm. It graphically displays or prints topographic details and road information, as well as weather. The system can show statewide information or zoom into specific areas, regions, cities, or even priority routes. And as it receives new information, it instantly updates its forecast. Further information is available in the SHARP report titled, Intelligent and Localized Weather Prediction. These SHARP projects, snow fences, snow plows, de-icing chemical tests, anti-icing procedures, and road weather information systems all will mean cost savings, greater efficiency, and increased safety for workers and the traveling public. They can work independently, or collectively, these products can provide tremendous aid to maintenance engineers during winter operation. They're examples of technology really working for you. If you're interested in any of these snow and ice control products, contact FHWA at the number on your screen.